Every artist will need a break from time to time. After all, art can be very stressful for many reasons. These breaks can be short, such as a few hours, a day, or even a weekend. On the other hand, they can be longer, like a small vacation of at least a week. Breaks can be very beneficial for productivity amongst many other things, however, taking a break can also lead to a slippery slope, making it very hard to get back to your art once you refill your energy, which could eventually lead to a slowing down of your progress or even worse, giving up altogether. The irony of taking a break to reduce stress only to end up with more stress is very possible and you most definitely want to avoid that. I will talk about why this could happen to you and how to avoid taking a break that will harm your progress and instead take breaks that help refill your energy through your journey as an artist so that you can come back to your art stronger than ever. While I do that, I will sculpt Chun-Li from Street Fighter in the background. Okay, so I speak from experience here. I've been working non-stop since I started the channel a few years back. My daily routine in these past few years consisted of work for the channel such as creating videos for you guys, practicing art to continue learning and improving, working out to stay in shape, amongst other things. I didn't even take the weekends off. I would always dedicate at least a few hours a day to do one of the things I mentioned earlier, but generally speaking, it was pretty much the whole day. I would only take a few hours before I sleep to relax, watching some show or the occasional hangout with friends. Work, 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 practice, 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 a few hours off to chill before I sleep, rinse, repeat, you know how it goes. The benefit of working daily is that it makes it easy to create a solid habit to be productive which in return will require less willpower to do the work, which is a huge plus and in many cases an underrated effective way of achieving whatever you set your mind to. That said, like every other human, the stress of constantly working will build up and eventually you will need to take some time off to refill your HP levels, which is what I ended up doing a month ago or so. The biggest mistake you can do is to take an unplanned break or vacation. I'm not talking about planning what to do during your break, which you probably should. What I'm talking about is how long your break or vacation should last and how to get back to your art after the break. You might wonder what is the harm of not planning your break ahead of time. Here's the thing. For starters, when you take a break, you are slowly creating the habit of not working or practicing arts. In the same way creating the habit of practicing every day can be a very powerful asset for your art, creating the habit of not working for a long time will make it very difficult to start again. Drawing for 2 hours straight might have been a breeze for you in the past, but after the break, even picking up that pencil might seem like the most daunting task ever. This takes me to my first tip. Instead of taking a very long break that you will need because your stress levels are hitting the roof, try to plan small breaks here and there that won't break your rhythm to keep your stress levels in check to start with. These breaks don't necessarily have to be a full day off. It can simply be a couple of hours you set where no matter what, you don't work. Basically, you force yourself to relax, as funny as that might sound. Another way to do this is to set a specific amount of hours or even a day per week where it is all about getting some of that sun outside, relaxing, hanging out with friends, playing a game, whatever works for you. When this is part of a plan instead of a spontaneous break that you take whenever you need it, it will help you keep your rhythm and keep you in the zone. That said, even with small breaks, if you constantly practice and work on a daily basis, you will without a doubt gather up small stress levels that will eventually add up and require you to stay away from your art to recover properly and get back stronger. This is where personally, well, let's just say I could have handled things better. This is why I decided to take some time off from work, social media, checking my analytics, etc. for a while. The stress throughout the years just started building up. Since it was the first time I ever went ahead to take a complete vacation from work, I didn't properly plan it. It was more like I wanted to take some time off till I felt ready to get back to work. The sad thing is that the longer my time off was, the harder it was to choose to get back to work and practicing arts. The point of taking some time off is to get these stress levels down and to get re-energized to get back stronger. However, since it is then harder to get back as I've explained earlier, as time goes you might start getting stressed out that you are not practicing or progressing with your art anymore, and the whole point of taking a vacation suddenly makes less sense. The longer you're stuck in this dilemma, the worse things get. If it gets too out of hand, you might even want to give up altogether and get rid of that persistent stress that keeps getting worse. So what is the solution? How can you avoid all of this? Here's what I would advise. Plan things out properly right from the start. 
First of all, if your vacations are so scarce to start with, you might unconsciously resist getting back to work because you know that you won't be taking another vacation for a very long time. So you wouldn't want to let go of the current one you're having. If you allow yourself to have more frequent times off, then psychologically it will be easier to get the engine started again. If I give you a box full of cookie dough delicious goddamn chocolates and tell you this is the only one I'll ever give you, then you will num 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 and even lick that box before you give it back empty, even if the actual satisfaction of eating these delicious cookies greatly decreases after one or two. That said, if I tell you that I'll give you a frequent supply of these cookies, then you will eat only as much as satisfies you without overindulging. Great, now I want some cookies. The other thing I want you to pay attention to is as given with the example of cookies, don't overindulge. The first bite is usually the best anyways, so instead of taking an indefinite break, set yourself a decent reasonable time off without overdoing it and make it a rule to get back to your art on the day you choose. As an example, if you set a week off for your break, then respect that and take a real time off during that week. No art whatsoever. Make sure that by the end of that week, you actually took a break, so that on the 8th day when you get back to your art, you already properly replenished your energy levels. Of course, make sure you actually respect the rule you set and get back to work on the 8th day. Last but not least, and this is important, when you take some time off, the longer it is, the more easing in you will need. Take weight lifting for example. If you are used to lifting heavy, then take a month off for whatever reason, you shouldn't shock your body with the same workouts and weights you were used to lifting prior to the break, otherwise you will harm yourself. For art, it might not be physical, but being able to draw or sculpt for long periods of hours will take time and practice. If you are used to practicing for 5 hours a day, after a break, try to ease in back into these 5 hours so that you don't overwhelm yourself and create unnecessary stress. This should be planned ahead. So if you take a week off, maybe start off with an hour or two when you get back and increase that time every day or week till you get back to 5 hours a day. These tips are of course only a baseline. Each and every one of us lead different lives. So take the idea behind what I'm saying and try to apply it in the best way for your own personal life. On a personal note, as mentioned earlier about my recent time off, I still don't have these longer breaks figured out to be honest, but making mistakes is one of the best ways to learn from them, as long as you choose to learn from them. So feel free to experiment with your breaks and accept the fact that you will make mistakes at first and see what works best for you. Keep at it, do your thing, create some awesome art, don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends and comment below your thoughts, and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell if you haven't yet, so that you don't miss any of my next videos. I will see you guys in the next one. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more awesome character sculpts and art related videos. You can also check out my store for full courses on character sculpting, texturing, materials, brushes and more. Last but not least, if you enjoyed this video then you will definitely enjoy the next one.